moving on, I got a chance to interact with the amazing Linda Brand. Now, she is an award-winning online strategist, brand promoter, and a publicist. She shared quite a few things about how you can make a living doing such kind of work, and you need to listen to this. Check her out. This is Linda Brand, your number one online strategist. Lynn is a digital strategist, uh, she is a publicist and a brand influencer. The difference between a publicist and an online strategist, an online strategist basically deals with uh, matters pertaining digital, like uh, that is social media management, um, online marketing, pushing brands online, anything that has to do, like the name itself, online strategist. So basically anything that has to do with um, online things and all that, uh, that's the work of an online strategist. The work of a publicist is to book interviews for artists, like you know, um, make sure that uh, if an artist has a project, uh, your work is to make sure that the project is out there, the project is visible, the project is everywhere. Um, also, like uh, do uh, organize press conferences for an artist or a brand. For online strategists, most of the times you'll find that uh, the, the, the work itself, Haishi, because if you're managing social media accounts, that means that the accounts have to be active every day. So um, some days uh, I'll just like maybe work on uh, accounts only. Some days I'll work on uh, organizing interviews, taking artists for interviews and all that. And some days I will work on pushing brands online. Uh, because I'm also that uh, brand influencer. Yeah, so my normal day, and sometimes I will work on all of them combined. So you'll find that um, I have a client or an artist who needs to be taken somewhere for an interview. And then at the same time, I have a client who needs their social media pages to be active. Then I still have a client who needs their brands to be pushed. Uh, we deal with people who have businesses, both small business, big business. Um, you have a business, you want it to be, you want the accounts to be managed. Your business is, is also a brand by itself, so you also want that brand to be pushed. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of like, you know, research, you have to do a lot of research. Then you also have to ask yourself, is this something that I really want to do? Um, is this in my line of kwa area, like nikituna feel nataka kufanya, you know? So you can definitely make money out of it, but you have to be disciplined and you have to be patient. Sana, sana, sana. It takes a lot of years before you start even making money out of it, before people start believing in you, um, believing in your services, you know. You really have to convince people and all that. So it takes a lot of sacrifice, it takes a lot of discipline and a lot of patience. But yes, to answer your question, you can make, young people can make money out of it being a publicist, an online strategist, and a brand influencer. What people need to know uh, is that, uh, Lazima, first of all, first and foremost, Lazima, you take some time, like a lot of time. Like in my case, I, it took me like a whole year to work pro bono and all that, to build yourself, and you reach to a place where you feel like, in your heart you feel like, now this is the time, and I think I can offer this kind of service to this audience so when you feel like that like when you start believing in yourself and you're like you you really have to believe in yourself because when you believe in yourself nobody will take advantage of you me I had a problem of believing in myself at first that's why people are taking a lot of advantage people are taking advantage um, but uh, you have to believe in yourself if you believe in yourself and you believe that I can do this like I can deliver 200% to this client you know like you believe in what you're doing you believe in your work then you you'll be able to uh, set your foot down and you're like no me I won't work for free or I won't work you won't pay me with bundles because I know the value that I'm bringing to your brand I know the value that I'm bringing to your company so you won't pay me with data it's I'd rather like you know I'd rather just nilale or something but this is too so low to a point of you know working for free or working for data or working for because I already know the kind of value that I'm bringing in your company and for sure when that person believes in you and maybe says okay let me pay you something kidogo at least nione what you can do and for sure if that person does that then an ataona because you're sure that you'll deliver 200 percent 
So he will see. For me, I started by uh, charging to small, small amounts, you know, something near affordable. So it's not even like charging, it's like appreciating. So when that person gives you that something small, the next time they want to work with you, because of the, what you delivered, you una shoot price. Okay, shoot price, the person will be like, eh. but last time she, she really delivered, so she deserves to be paid this way. So you, if you know the kind of value that you're putting, Ama you're bringing to that company, ama to that brand, ama to Nini, then you will be in a very good position to set your foot down and you're like, ah, ah, me, you must pay me a certain amount of money. If not, then watch I kai. I recently scooped three awards. So um, in uh, the recently concluded FEMA Awards, Fresh Entries Music Awards, and uh, the first award, you see, as a publicist, what I've not said is that as a publicist, I have my own PR and marketing company. It's called Foley Agency. So uh, the first award was um, an honorary award. Like the panel decided to, you know, after toiling for uh, 55 years, <laughs> after toiling for 55 years, finally, um, people like have seen my work and, you know, people decided to sit down and just, you know, appreciate what I do, uh, recognize the fact that I've been working and I'm um, doing a lot in the entertainment industry. So the first one was an honorary award as the Industry Influencer of the Year. The second award went to my company, Foley Agency, Foley PR and Marketing, in the brand promoter category. Then the third award, and by the way, next year, Tunachukwa number one, Foley Agency. So the third award uh, went to my artist, the artist that I'm working with, I've been working with for a while under my company. They are called Sovereign Band. Yes, so those are three awards, one person. So you can find me um, on uh, social media platforms at Lynn the Brand, L Y N N E the Brand, across all social media platforms. And you can also follow my company at Foley Agency, Foley, F O L I Agency, across all social media platforms you can dm either my personal account or you can dm foley agency we will be there to sort you out this goes out to the young people and especially i'm an advocate of young ladies who are pushing so hard to be somewhere without compromising so continue pushing sometimes uh, it might not be easy things might not things might not go the way you want them to but do not compromise. Just continue pushing, continue praying, continue trusting in God. Work hard. Remember, determination knows no failure.